the Oak Creek Canyon exposes Triassic age rocks 270 to 230 million years ago. It's a beautiful display. The most obvious ones are the Schneebly formation, the red ones that you see outside of Sedona and, and up here on the cliff walls. They're horizontally bedded. They're a sandstone. We believe that it was a time where it was very near the shoreline. Sometimes sea rose a bit, sometimes it, it regressed a bit, right? Transgression, sea rises, regression, it goes down. And so it would build up dunes when it was low on the shore. And then when the waves would come in and mix them up again, it would flatten them out and so that we would have horizontal lines. On top of that, we have three more formations, the Coconino, the Torweep, and the Kaibab. Unfortunately, they're all described as yellow or cream colored, so they're kind of hard to tell apart, except the Coconino, because then the sea had regressed and we had dunes, and you can see the dunes, um, the cross beds. And we live in the desert, in Yuma, and now you know that underneath those dunes you see out in the desert, there are layers because it's being built up layer by layer by the wind, by aeolian processes. Um, some of the other, the Kaibab at the top, that was deep water. The Toro Weep uh, that was in between, that was a transgression regression thing where you can have everything from like tidal flats and fluvial um, environment to marine environment. They're, uh, the Toro Weep and the Kaibab are fossiliferous. And the Kaibab, I believe, uh, has some vertebrates in it, some fish. The Toro Weep has uh, invertebrates. It has uh, brachiopods and clams and scaphlopods and, um, let me think, crinoids. It's a gorgeous area. Save up your money and come up here. Sedona is expensive. <laughs>